I'm about to show you a video. This is an observation. It's not information, which means it can't be misinformation. It's literally an observation. You're watching Michael Spector, who's the new writer for The New Yorker. You're watching Rick Bright, who's the uh, Biomedical Advanced Research and Development you know, director, Barda, he's the director of HHS, you know, and also Anthony Fauci. And I think you know who that is. But watch this video. It's an observation. There's no such thing as a misobservation. It's just an observation of them speaking at the Milk and Health Summit in October of 2019, about five months before the pandemic hit the USA. They're speaking before the pandemic. Listen to what they say. Once again, this is not information, so it can't be misinformation. This is an observation. That's all it is. Just observe. Listen. Why don't we blow the system up? I mean, obviously, we can't just turn off the spigot on the system we have and then say, hey, everyone in the world should get this new vaccine we haven't given to anyone yet. But there must be some way that we grow vaccines mostly in eggs the way we did in 1947. In order to make the transition from getting out of the tried and true egg growing, which we know gives us results that can be you know, beneficial. I mean, we've done well with that to something that has to be much better. Uh, you have to prove that this works. And then you've got to go through all of the clinical trials, phase ones, phase twos, phase three, and then show that this particular product is going to be good over a period of years. That alone, if it works perfectly, is going to take a decade. There might be a need or even an urgent call for uh, an entity right. of excitement out there that's completely disruptive, that's not beholden to bureaucratic strings and, and, and processes. So we really do have a problem of how the world perceives influenza, and it's going to be very difficult to change that unless you do it from within and say, I don't care what your perception is, we're going to address the problem in a disruptive way and in an iterative way, because you do need both. But it is not too crazy to think that an outbreak of an, a novel avian virus could occur in, in China somewhere. We could get the RNA sequence from that, beam it to a number of regional centers, if not local, if not even in your home at some point, and print those vaccines on a patch and self-administer. You got that, right? What they're saying is that the old way of doing vaccines, growing them in eggs, is no longer what they want to do. They want to do something new that they believe would be better. So what they decided to do was use mRNA technology to now start creating vaccines with that technology. No more growing in eggs, no more smallpox, chickenpox, the way we used to do those vaccines. This is something new and it's untested. They don't know yet, but they're saying if it happens to be good enough and it happens to work, you know, it'll take us about 10 years to figure it out. About 10 years to figure, it's 2021 right now. They're saying it's going to take us about 10 years to figure this out. Like I said, it's just an observation of what they've said. It's not information from me, so it can't be misinformation from me. It's an observation that I made from watching that video. And I hope you made some observations as well. Please share this video of Dr. Fauci, Rick Bright, and Michael Spector. Just so we can observe what they're saying, you know, this is not information. We're just, it's an observation. Share it so we can all observe at what they said in October of 2019, about five months before the pandemic at the USA. Thank you.